Hey guys, it is currently 4.35 in the morning on August 7th, and today I'm going to be starting edit number four of It Starts With Goodbye. So edit number four is a basically story note edit. I'm going to be taking notes the whole time that I'm editing to check the dates, the timeline, check for any glaring plot holes, um, make sure that no scenes were repeated, make sure that there were no like uh, exchanges of information that were repeated, like if the two main characters are having a conversation, I want to make sure that that conversation, the information shared within it is not shared again later, because sometimes that happens. Like they'll say, when I was 13 this thing happened, and then later on they'll say that same thing again just because I forgot it was there. Um, I'm another day behind where I was supposed to be at this point. I wanted to start this edit yesterday on Monday but Monday was a very bad day for me. Um, I had two anxiety attacks and even now I still don't really feel like this is what I want to do, but I have three books that are supposed to be out before the end of the year and it is officially August, so I don't really have a choice. Um, I'm also going to be starting edit number six of Cut to the Kill today and I'm going to be starting edit number four of Ashes in the Light today because I don't have a choice. So, I'm going to be doing that, and I will give you guys an update at some point, um, probably before the end of the night, and then I will upload this whole video as one thing, but um, It Starts With Goodbye is 42 chapters and an epilogue, and the story notes are going to be hellish. My wrist is back in a brace, I'm having joint issues, um, where... <laughs> Basically, it almost feels um, it almost feels like arthritis in my joints um, on my fingers, which is super fun and something I should definitely get checked out. But what are you gonna do? Um, but basically, I am someone who prefers to take written notes instead of typed notes. So I will just be pushing through and doing what I can. I'm still going to take it relatively easy today. I'm not up for anything super strenuous. Um, yesterday I played on The Sims while I was at least attempting to write because at this point um, I'm in a habit of writing and I don't want to ruin that just because of a bad day. So regardless of whatever, I will always write pretty much every single day, which is what I did yesterday. But today um, will be edits. I will still probably be screwing around on Sims in between once the afternoon rolls around. Obviously, I only have a couple, well, about an hour and a half more of me being awake before I go to sleep for a few hours and then probably wake up around noon, give or take. And then I will force myself out of bed and force myself to do some editing. But... I'm going to start with It Starts With Goodbye, then I'm going to move on to Cut to the Kill, then I'm going to move on to Ashes in the Light. The only good news is, is that Cut to the Kill will be a quicker edit than the other two. So I'm going to get started on that, and I will give you guys an update at some point in the day, and um, hopefully I can make some good progress despite everything else, but I will see you guys soon. Alrighty, so it is 4.40pm. And I only edited one chapter of It Starts With Goodbye this morning before I went to sleep. But the first chapter of It Starts With Goodbye is 2,925 words. And if I want to finish this edit in two weeks, I think, is when I set the date for it. Maybe? Yeah, two weeks. Then I only need about 2,667 words. But I can't um, show you all of my notes because then you would have um, all the information that happens in chapter one. But I will say that I have at least some color coding going on. I'm writing down the word count in each chapter. And then here I have the next date that happens. Um, the A here changes for every scene. So if there are three scenes, it's A, B, C, so on and so forth. Um, I personally enjoy taking notes that way. The outline method, basically, I learned it in like sixth grade. But this is the variation of it that I use. There are a lot of different versions of it. You can pretty much change those letters and numbers to whatever you want and it works the same. But 
Uh, I also did that here with that same note taking and I will do that all the way through this book and all the way through Ashes in the Light. So at this point in the day I'm going to wash dishes and then I'm probably going to make another cup of coffee because I don't care that I'm about to eat supper after my mom comes home. I'm still gonna have coffee. So I'm going to wash dishes, probably make coffee, and then I have a chapter of Cut to the Kill that I'm going to edit, which is the Grammarly edit on the prologue, and then I'm going to take another short break, and then edit a couple chapters in Ashes in the Light because the chapters tend to be shorter in there. I think the first chapter is probably one of the longer ones, um, and that edit is much like um, It Starts with Goodbye, and it will be a story note edit. So I'm going to go do all of that and then I will also probably be writing throughout the day, but I don't know. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get through this edit here before it starts with goodbye in two weeks. Um, normally I'm a bit lenient, but I don't have time to be lenient. So I'm going to uh, attempt to do that and I will keep you guys updated at least a couple times. But that being said, that is all that I have for this video. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated, and if you'd like to stay updated on my writing, gaming videos on Fridays, or anything that I do in between, feel free to subscribe. All the links to my author's pages, as well as the links to my social media are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.